And, um, the loose balls, and you know they start making shots. But we did a good job. We kept them under 100. You know, we just we got to make shots ourselves. Jack Bond said that he was impressed how you guys were able to stick to the game plan, and that it was a matter of just shots started to just not fall on the offensive side. Anything? Did you like the looks that you guys were getting? Was there anything defensively that they were doing to make it difficult? Um, no, I feel like we got um, great looks. You know, we probably probably getting the paint a little bit more before we uh, shoot the threes, but. You know, we got great looks. Um, you know, we did a good job on them. I mean, we held MB under his average. And we, you know, we just, you know, they, they was the best team tonight. You know, they figured out a way to, you know, pull it out. Did you think their size wore on you guys as the game went on? Or was that just the quality of a shot and you just chalk it up to make or miss? Um, when you're trapping, um, some, sometimes, you know, it's going to be a free guy. You know, on, on a rebound or, you know, when you're doubling MB, it's a free dude, you know, who can crash and, you know, the ball was just bouncing that way. And uh, like I said, they, you know, they made more shots there that second half, you know, but we got great looks. How big of a boost was Cam, especially in that first half? Oh, no, nah, Cam played him. He had an amazing game. Uh, you know, he made shots. He probably was the only one who made threes at a, at a high clip. But, uh no, we just got to figure out a way to, uh, you know, come together when they went on that run. When you look at this, sit- I'm going back to Brooklyn for game three and four. How important is it to play in front of home pitch? No, it's going to be exciting. I know um, they're excited, so uh, we just got to figure out a way to get a win for them. It's going to be fun. When you talk about taking away other teams' options on, well, on defense at least, you did a good job with Embiid, but does the amount of pressure that you send at Embiid lend itself to getting a guy like Tyrese Maxey wide open? For sure. You know, um, that's what happens when you got a you know great player like that on me. He draw the crowd, and, you know, they made the right plays on the back end. And, uh, you know, we probably got to do a better job of, you know, getting out of traps and communicating. But, you know, you got you to gotta take away something. Yeah. So. You guys were able to take away something from the Sixers team that was very different in game one. What can you use um, on the defensive side of things that was good that you guys can just take it to another level as you go back home? I feel like um, if we would just do what we just did tonight, you know, like I said, we kept them under 100 points. I mean, what else can you ask, you know, from a great, you know, great team like that? You know, if we made shots, it'd be a different game. John said it kind of needs everybody to be on deck for game three to make shots and kind of what you just said. With the way guys have been kind of, you know, neutralized a little bit, do you feel like the shooting is going to translate for you guys better at home? For sure. Um, we got great looks today. Um, so everybody got shots they usually make. So uh, I'm excited for, the, for Thursday.